welcome to the seventh video session of the chapter human health and disease in this module we are going to deal with active and passive immunity immunization and vaccination our body has conferred two types of immunity active and passive immunity let us see in detail about these active immunity it is a very slow process and it takes sufficient time to give an effective response it takes much time what are the reasons of active immunity and why it takes so much time it is generated in our body due to the injection of a very mild natured microbe there is a mild mild natured microbe which naturally enters there is natural infection or we deliberately inject a vaccine into a body we know vaccines are nothing but weakened or dead microbes or pathogens which is injected into a body and either by these two ways by natural entry or by uh, vaccination it induces active immunity how because when the microbe in any way it enters into a body the b and t lymphocytes we know what's the function of b and t lymphocytes uh, the b lymphocytes produce antibodies and t lymphocytes it helps the b cells to produce antibodies they identify these microbes which enter into our body as antigen and in response to the antigen they produce specific antibodies okay they produce certain antibodies and these antibodies they go and attack this pathogen and they produce an immune response and that is called as active immunity and for this reason it takes sufficient time next is passive immunity it is a quick very quick process and takes less time to show an effective response when is it generated in our body okay it is generated when we inject ready made antibodies of the pathogens that is antibodies specific antibodies for the pathogens are made outside the body and injected into the body and that is why it is giving a quick response and does not take much time let's see the mechanism that is when specific antibodies against this pathogen is injected into the blood stream the body develops immune response ag against this pathogen even in the absence of pathogen that is we do not require pathogens we do not require b and t cells because antibodies are not produced inside the body it is preformed antibodies that is antibodies are produced outside and injected so we do not require the pathogen we do not require b and t cells and that is why it is giving a quick immune response example is uh, the immunity that a child gains from colostrum have you heard of colostrum colostrum is a yellowish fluid which is secreted by the mother during initial period of lactation that is soon after delivery the mother starts to produce milk and that period is called as lactation the first uh, uh, milk which is coming out of the mammary glands of the mother is yellowish in color and that yellowish color fluid is called as colostrum this colostrum is rich in antibodies and it is called as immunoglobin a iga and this where is it produced it is produced inside the mother's body okay it is produced inside the mother's body and when the child brings that milk it is entering into the child's or the infant's body and through this e iga which enters into the infant's body it is gaining immunity and that immunity is called as passive immunity and uh, also through the placenta of the mother the antibodies from the mother's body enters into the fetus body is it clear so these two types uh, that is through the um, milk or the colostrum and through the placenta the infant and child gets passive immunity next is the principle behind vaccination and immunization it is nothing but the principle of uh, or the property of memory uh, of the immune system in vaccination what do we do in vaccination either a uh, weakened pathogen or activated uh, or uh, very harmless pathogens are entered into the body it can be the pathogen or it can be antigenic proteins of the pathogen okay antigenic proteins of the pathogen or the weakened pathogen are entered into the body and this is called as vaccine against this uh, antigen the body starts to produce antibodies who produces these antibodies the b and t cells they recognize this uh, uh, proteins or pathogen and they immediately release antibodies and uh, they invade uh, them they invade them but this response is quite slow remember the primary response 
and later when the same pathogen uh, is uh, entering into the person uh, immediately due to this property of memory they recognize this pathogen and uh, they produce a massive army of antibodies and they invade this antigen and gives a very quick response these days uh, we have recombinant dna technology uh, we will be studying in detail about recombinant dna technology it is an advanced branch of biology and uh, to be very short it is nothing but joining the dna of two or other uh, two or more organisms and we get a new uh, manipulated dna and it is injected into a host so that it expresses the genes of another organism through recombinant dna technology proteins antigenic proteins of the pathogens are produced in bacteria or yeast and it is used uh, for massive immunization programs okay a massive immunization programs vaccine produced using this recombinant dna technology allow large scale production and hence greater availability for immunization example is hepatitis b vaccine which is produced from yeast through this recombinant dna technology next is we'll learn in detail about immunization immunization is a process where a person is made immune by an introduction of a vaccine okay it is made immune or resistant to an infectious disease by the administration of a vaccine this vaccine it stimulates the body's own immune system and it protects that person from subsequent that is when the same pathogen enters into the body it gives a very faster response there are two types as we studied already we are just summarizing active immunization and passive immunization active immunization is very slow whereas passive immunization is very quick in the case of passive immunization we studied about cholesterol we have other two examples which we have experienced in our daily life suppose a person is infected by a deadly microbe in that condition uh, the person is injected with a preformed antibody preformed antibody is used in the case of a tetanus infection or this preformed antibody is otherwise called as an antitoxin and it is prepared um, and it contains antibodies which acts against the toxin Uh, even the case of snake bite. Suppose a uh, snake bites a person, and he is taken to an uh, uh, hospital. Uh, what does the doctor do? He gives a preparation of antibodies, and preformed antibodies, uh, which is an antitoxin, which acts against the toxin which has entered into that person. Even in this case, even both cases, when there is an infection by a tetanus, or if the person is having a snake bite, the immunization which is given in the form of uh, preformed antibodies is nothing but passive immunization.